Want to know the five common self-publishing mistakes new authors can make and how you can avoid them? Grab your pen and paper because, girl, as somebody who has self-published 30 books, ah, I wish I had known these five things. So grab your pen and paper. Let's dive in. Hey, it's your girl, Seth Rodness, founder and CEO of God Will Girl, creator of God Will Girl University. And my purpose in life is to connect you with the resources you need to step into your purpose as a faith-based author. So. If you need help getting started, make sure you grab my free write your book checklist that's going to help you get started writing your own book. Click the link in the description box below to grab it. If you're ready to learn the five common self-publishing mistakes and how you can avoid them from somebody who's been there, done that, <laughs> grab your pen and paper. Let's dive in. So the first of the five common self-publishing mistakes that new authors make is writing a book without a clearly defined problem. Writing a book without a clearly defined problem. When I'm talking about problem, I mean the pain point that your book resolves, the problem that your book actually solves. People don't just purchase random books, right? They purchase solutions to their problems. Even if that problem that they're trying to solve is that they're bored and they want entertainment, uh, you need to make sure that your book solves a clear problem. The second of the five common self-publishing mistakes new authors make is writing your book without a clearly defined audience. Writing your book without a clearly defined audience. So understanding the problem that you solve with your book is vital, but understanding who you're solving that problem for is also just as important. Multiple segments of the population have different ways to solve the same problem. Let's take the example of the fitness industry. Fitness is everybody's goal. I have not met one person in my life who said to me, Stephanie, I just want to be unhealthy and never work out ever. Like I've just never met anybody who said that to me. <laughs> so usually most people have a desire to be healthy and to be fit. But the way different people want to solve that problem is completely different. For example, a 17 year old who is training to go to the NBA and wants to make sure that he's in tip top shape will have a very different solution to their problem of getting fit than a new mom who just had a baby two weeks ago and is in the middle of breastfeeding and keeping the house running and doing her job and everything else that she does and also wants to lose the belly fat. Her solution to solving her fitness problem is going to be different than the single 17 year old kid who has no other responsibilities. So you have got to be clear who you're actually solving the problem for because the solution that you give them needs to apply to that audience. The third of the five common self publishing mistakes new authors make is writing without a clearly defined marketing plan, writing without a clearly defined marketing plan. So if you're in God University, you've heard me talk about this a lot, but if you're not in GDU, I'm gonna give you some free game right now. Okay. As you are writing your book, you want to be pre pre launching your book. As you are writing your book, you want to be pre pre launching your book. So pre launching your book is letting people know that it's coming, right? They, you give them a date, you let them know to get on your waiting list, but pre pre launching is just making people aware that they have the need to get your book. And as you are writing, you want to be doing marketing, getting that pain point aggravated with as many people as possible. That way, when you move into your pre launch phase, you got all these people who are like, yeah, 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 yeah. I need this. I need this. I need this. So don't start writing your book without having some sort of marketing plan in place. Now, what you think in terms of four phases, pre pre launch, pre launch, launch and post launch. If you're in God Gore University, check out module 11. We go through the different launch stages, but you want to be thinking in terms of how am I going to be putting out this marketing content so that when my book is ready, people are excited to grab it. The fourth of the five common self publishing mistakes that new authors make is a pretty big one. And that is writing without a clearly defined publishing plan, writing without a clearly defined publishing plan. So once you are finished with your book, you are going to be very excited to get it edited, formatted and self published. You're going to be so excited to do it. And because you spent all this time writing it, you're pretty much not going to care what people charge you to get that book done. And this is a very dangerous place to be in. So I have had students come into God of university after paying people $5,000 to help them self publish and format their book. It is such a scam and I'm sorry. I don't mean to ever go for anybody's coins. I really don't, but charging somebody $5,000 to self publish something when you know, good and well, they could do it for themselves for free. Like it just, it bothers me. It really does bother me. And so 
Before you start writing, have a plan in place for how you're actually going to format and self-publish this book. That way you're not willing to give people all this buku buku money to do for you what you could easily do for yourself. I remember this young lady was telling me how she wanted to format her book into a Kindle format and somebody was saying they would do it for her for a thousand dollars. Is that a good price? And I was like, a thousand dollars? To format it into a Kindle book? I was like, girl. No, don't pay that money. You can do it yourself. Um, there are templates that you can download. There are classes that walk you through how to format a Kindle book. I teach that in the Write Your Ebook Accelerator. You can do these things yourself. I've done it multiple times. It's not difficult to do. So have a publishing plan in place. Once your book, your manuscript is finished, what is your plan, how you're going to actually uh, format this, get it edited and actually self publish it. If you need help doing that, don't forget I teach you how to do it step by step in the Write Your Ebook Accelerator bundle. And finally, the fifth of the five common self publishing mistakes new authors make is writing your book without a clear strategy. Writing your book without a clear strategy. Now you notice that this one is number five, not number one, right? Because at the end of the day, you can write a book without a strategy, without knowing how you're actually going to get the book done. You can't get your book done. It's just maybe going to take a lot longer than it needed to. <laughs> I remember a young lady, she had been working on her book for 10 years, just kind of writing a little bit here and there, 10 years. And then she got into my program, got a writing strategy, and then got her book done within a couple of months. It's really important to have a writing strategy in place. And I get asked all the time how I write books in two hours. It's like Stephanie, how do you write a book in two hours? I have a writing strategy. I never guess. <laughs> I'm never like, oh, I'm going to try writing this book and hopefully it's done. No, no, no. I have a writing strategy, a writing formula that I use every single time I write a new book. And I teach you that formula in the Write Your Ebook Accelerator. But you don't only have to use mine. Other programs teach writing strategies as well. You can get on YouTube and Google different types of methods to get your book done. Just have a writing strategy in place. That way, once you sit down to start writing your book, it flows from you and you're able to get it done quicker and it's not going to take you decades. <laughs> so that's it for the five common self-publishing mistakes I've seen new authors make and hopefully you now know how to avoid them. If you need help getting your book done, make sure you grab my Write Your Ebook bundle by clicking the link in the description box below. If you don't want to get your book done yet, you just want to keep doing my research on how to write your book, grab my free write your ebook checklist. The link is also in the description box below. Now, if you always hear me talk a lot about faith and talk about the Lord, I mean, the name of my company is God the Wood Girl. It's because the Lord Jesus is why I even started my business. He is literally my best friend. And if you want to have a personal relationship with Jesus, it's as simple as believing in him as your personal Lord and Savior and inviting him into your heart. And if you say a prayer to him, letting him know you believe in him, you invite him into your heart, that makes you a Christian. Get into a virtual Bible-based church in your area and get started reading the Word of God. Thank you so much for joining me on our video. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to chat with you in the comments. Let me know any other self-publishing mistakes that you've made or you've seen made. I can't wait to chat with you. God bless you and Jesus willing, I'll see you in the next video.